Hi everyone, welcome back to Brook Valley Life, or hello for the first time. Hope everyone's having a great day. Today we're looking again at arrows. Um, so we've had a look at um, the different makes, the sizes and all those type of things. So today we're going to look at the pointy end and see the different types of points and what we would use when and where. Quite a few out there, so stay with us and let's go and have a look. So today we're looking at the pointy end of the arrow. And yes, that actually means the points. There's so many different types of points out there. What do you use for your arrow? Well, hopefully this is just going to be a quick basic guide of what especially target archers are using uh, for the different types of arrow. Um, and here we have in front of you a number of arrows with different points and a number of different points. So what dictates or what pushes us in a certain way? about what type of point do we use? Well, first, what size arrow are you using? Two, what are you actually shooting? Is it target archery, say 70 meters for a recurver? Um, is it field archery? Is it clout? Is it something like that? So all of these different things will decide on what type of points we're actually going to use. So let's have a look at some of these points we've got here. Now let's start off with this big big lump of metal. So what do we have? Well we have a nice sharp point so it's going to cut through the wind and hit the target and stick in quite well. Uh, it's got a long shaft on it and it's got these two little bits on the end. Now what are these? These are actually break off points. So what they give you is a this is 140 grains, so arrow points are measured in grains. Just what it is. Same as, uh, I think, when you're measuring um, bullet loads for rifles and pistols and stuff like that. Um, by changing the weight of your arrow point, you can change the spine of your... Well, I say change, you can affect the spine of the arrow. The more weight you have forward on an arrow, I'm not going to go into front of scent or FOC and all of that lot because I still find that way above what us beginners need or normal shooters need. But I find that a heavier weight up front allows for more or a better flight of the arrow at longer distance. Just does. I don't know why. Um, However, this is 140 grain, but I can cut, take that bit off there, or just snap off, they're called snap off uh, points, and I can take this down to 120. I've also got, here's another one, I think this is a 100 grain, and I can take off two again, so I can take it down to 80 grain. And I can set up my arrows so they actually fly perfectly, um, they've got the right grain in them, and yeah. They work well. You'll notice there is a difference between the, th the thickness and it's all to do with the thickness of your arrow. So anywhere from between this thing, which is a 3.2 millimeter internal diameter, all the way up to this one here, a 6.2 millimeter internal diameter. So the thickness or, or the Internal diameter of the arrow will determine on how thick a shaft you've got on these. And as you can see, there's a 6.2, there's a 3.2. It's quite a bit of difference. Longer because you need that extra weight in there. Shorter because you've, it's fat and uh, there's more weight onto it. Now we do have a couple of other types of points here. In fact, this one here came with these arrows actually this is the 3.2 millimeter these are very cheap arrows but they're extremely straight and they fly really well however i had to change the points this is a slide over point and it slides over the front and they're not very accurate um, they're not very heavy at all and they're not very good i would always if you've got arrows with those on change them the crap easiest way of putting and then you've got this type. This is a field point. And what makes field points good 
or good for field is you have to put this insert inside the arrow so it would slide up inside like that. You glue it in place and then you can screw the point in. Why is that such a, a good thing? Well, you can then use these arrows, you can take that out and put a broad head in there and use them for hunting. And it's threaded inside. It's just a piece of aluminium. I'm not even going to get into the hunting side of things because there's so many different um, things you can put onto the front of your bow, the outserts, inserts, all these different things, all different types of broadheads. And I don't do hunting, um, I just do target archery. So yeah, I got these for some field points. And in fact, I think my Eastern has got a field point set up in it. And all it is, is an insert inside there. You can't see, sorry. And it screws in. Pretty simply. And then she goes. And that's how an insert works. But you'll notice lots of different shapes. I prefer this bottom shape. Um, it's just, you know that if you hit a foam target, it's gonna go in. With that one there, Sometimes the foam can be hard and if you're using a light poundage bow, it will bounce out. That's a nice sharp one as well, just a different shape. So, points. Lots of different ones and what I'll do now, I'll show you exactly what I am shooting on my competition arrows. So stay with me. So here are my two competition arrows. My top one is a Skylon Paragon. It's got 140 point, 140 grain point in, really sharp, comes down and fits perfectly over so there's no chance of it catching the clicker as it goes through. The second is a 100 grain uh, point from Skylon and this is the Skylon Radius. Um, yeah, only shooting out of a 38, uh, sorry a 30 pound bow, top one a 40 pound bow. They still both stick in really well. And this is what I use. And you'll notice there is a difference. So you've got to be careful when you're um, cutting your arrows to length, that you cut them the right length to take the points. Because you will notice even, sorry, let me just get this right. If I was to put these all flat, close enough, they're all at different lengths. So you've got to be careful how you cut your arrows to make sure they're in the right position. So arrow points. It is quite a, a big thing. And you, as I said, you can change your points to affect your shaft uh, spine, which will affect your tune. Uh, you may need to remove weight, uh, depending on the draw weight and your arrow spine and how far you're drawing. There's lots of different things. And we'll look at that in a different video. This is just a quick look at arrow points, all the different ones out there that you use for target, field, and clout. Again, for clout, I use big arrows and I use really heavy points. So when the arrow comes in, it comes in at a, not a flat angle, but at an incline. So it sticks in the ground well and you can see your arrows. It's worked well for me so far. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick video on arrow points. Uh, next we'll be looking at arrow fletchings and what's out there and what I use and all these different things. Please hit the like, hit the subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Keep shooting. Have a great day. Bye bye.